With summer right around the corner, I have the most adorable dessert idea for you to bring to your next barbecue, party, or picnic. They're corn on the cob cupcakes. On Just Add Sugar, we're bringing you some of our favorite sugary recipes that are sure to tempt and delight any sweet tooth. These cupcakes not only look amazing, but they taste amazing too, and that's because they use one of my favorite special ingredients, brown butter. It's really simple. I just put my butter for my cupcakes and my frosting into a sauce pot. You want to put it on a medium heat, let it get almost to a boil, wait for it to start to get foamy and brown, and then we're going to take it directly off the heat and let it cool. These cupcakes are so good because that brown butter just makes them taste extra rich and homemade. So I'm going to start by making our batter for our cupcakes with our dry ingredients first. So I have cake flour in here. I'm just going to add our baking powder, baking soda, and salt into a medium-sized bowl. And I'm just going to give it a little whisk. For this recipe, we're using cake flour. Cake flour is sifted a lot more than all-purpose flour, so it's going to produce a nice, light, fluffy cupcake. So now I'm just going to mix our wet ingredients, starting with our egg whites. And to get them nice and frothy, I'm just going to use a hand mixer on medium speed. As soon as your egg whites are nice and frothy, you're just going to slowly add your sugar and keep mixing. Then we're going to add our cooled brown butter. And actually, see those little bits and pieces of the brown butter? We actually want that in our cupcakes, so take a moment to scrape it out. Mm, that's where all the flavor is. Then I'm going to add our vanilla and keep mixing. At this point, we're going to alternate adding our dry ingredients and our milk until it's all combined. Awesome, look how amazing this batter is. It's just so silky smooth. So now I'm just gonna put our batter into our cupcake liners, filling them about two thirds of the way. And a great tip is to use an ice cream scoop so they're the same size every time. Now we're gonna bake these in the oven that's been preheated at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. For our frosting, we're going to make a simple buttercream, but instead of using regular butter, we're going to use that cooled brown butter that I made earlier. So I have my powdered sugar in a large bowl. I'm just going to add the vanilla, milk, and start by adding one tablespoon of brown butter, and then we're going to mix it. Since we're using melted butter, we really want to be cautious when adding it because we're making a frosting, not an icing, and if you add too much, you kind of can't go back. So I'm just going to add another tablespoon. It came to just under one cup of butter, so now I'm just going to add a couple drops of yellow food coloring. All right, this frosting is ready. I am so excited. This has been the moment that we've all been waiting for, assembling the cupcakes. To decorate the cupcakes, put three in a row. That's gonna be our ear of corn. I'm just gonna use a spatula to frost each cupcake. And we're gonna cover this with our jelly beans anyway, so you don't have to be that precious with it. But you do need to put the jelly beans on the cupcakes when the frosting is still wet, so just do one at a time. Gosh, you can even see the little bits of the brown butter in the frosting. So I have jelly beans in yellows and whites, and I'm gonna start with the yellows. And holding them vertically, you're just gonna start lining the cupcake and start at the center of the cupcake. What's fun about decorating these cupcakes is you can literally just choose all the yellow jelly beans you can find so that they really have a variety. That's what really makes them come to life. How adorable are these corn on the cob cupcakes? Now I don't know about you, but I can't have corn on the cob without a little bit of butter. And for the butter, I just have a yellow starburst. And I'm just using my hands to kind of soften the edges so that it looks like a nice little pad of butter just melting on the corn. And then for the salt and pepper, just a little bit of black and white sanding sugar. And then for the final touch, a couple of these corn skewers. 
So they look just like ears of corn on the cob. How cute are these? No matter how many times I bring these cupcakes to parties, people cannot get over how great they look. And then when they taste them and they're so buttery sweet, they are sold. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know what your favorite backyard barbecue dessert is in the comment box below. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm Brandy and we'll see you next time on Just Add Sugar. Thank you.